Uh, alrighty then, hey this is Wentis yet again, and I'm going to be continuing my let's play of Sonic Adventure. Last time a lot happened, including taking on Chaos 4, Sonic, and leaving Sonic and Tails to take on the Egg Carrier while we went to the Lost World, learned more about the past, and to call, and the Temple, and the Master Emerald, many things, and we managed to restore most of the Master Emerald. There's just a few pieces missing, and it gave us a vision of the Egg Carrier. Luckily soon after, we also saw... Gamma, who happened to be coming down here. We better chase after him, because he may be able to show us where we can get to the Egg Carrier. Hopefully. Because if, if you remember correctly from Sonic and Tails' and Tails's stories... Man, I need to stop that stuttering. If you remember correctly from Sonic and Tails' stories, right about now is when they were separated. Okay, no trains currently in service, so we actually can't go back to Station Square. Let's see what you got to say. A huge building has appeared deep in the jungle. Huge building deep in the jungle, you say? Hmm. Well, I bet the robot probably went near that. Or rather, the ro by the robot, I mean Gamma. <laughs> Since we know what he's called, but Knuckles doesn't. Let's see. Yep, sure enough, just past the temple, there's a large building with Eggman's face on it. I believe we went here during Sonic's story already, although we did not during Tails's. Let's go over there. We got a few things to say about... Eggman for what he, he's his affiliation with Chaos and Chaos destroying the Emerald. Hmm, just what I thought. Time to make a house call. so easily tricked. I can sense the emeralds are here somewhere. Alrighty then, so we managed to sneak aboard the egg carrier before it could take off. Let's see if we can find somewhere where the emeralds could be being kept. Let's see. Uh, what's going on? So, that gives us an idea of when we got aboard this ship. It looks like we got aboard it around the same time that Eggman transformed it so that Sonic and Tails would have to go through the Sky Deck. Find the entrance to the Sky Deck. The Master Emerald is there. Hmm. So this light has been able to help us out further. Let's see if we can find an entrance to the Sky Deck. We have this big, lovely pool room. Uh, if it weren't for the little Eggman symbols everywhere, I don't know, this place would be real nice to stay in. So, there appears to be a door at the bottom. The Master Emerald. It can't be far from here. Hmm. So it seems through here... Oh, rings. Pointless rings are pointless, but whatever. If I can just... There we go. So it seems we found an alternate entrance to the Sky Deck from the back. Let's head on in. So it seems that we... I'm sorry, I still can't speak today, but I'm going to fix that. I will learn to speak properly. Also, awesome music, by the way. Um, I remember seeing that the egg carrier was floating nearby when the egg... Man, I cannot talk today. I remember seeing that the egg carrier was nearby when the Master Emerald was shattered, so a few of the shards must have landed aboard the ship. Either push or pull the lever to control the ship's tilt. Yep, we can do that. We push it. Suddenly, we are leaning this way. Now, if we go back up to it again... And, okay, try to grab onto it. Come on. There we go. Okay, no. Let's see. Maybe from this side? Okay, there we go. If we do that, it'll tilt again. Still, that's just a minor bit of what we have to do here. Let's see if we can find any emeralds. Okay, so there's one this way. Okay, we overshot it by a bit. Oh, shoot! What just hit us? 
Oh yeah, I forgot. These gun turrets here are actually really deadly in this level, so be careful. Let's see. Tilt controlling the ship's tilt would probably have been useful with for Sonic or Tails, but for Knuckles, we can just kind of climb up the walls. It seems to be up out by side. It was above us. Okay, so let's see if we can get up here. Come on. There we go. Now, I don't want to touch that thing, but it might not give me a choice. I think... Oh, shoot. Come on. Just gotta wait for one of those hooks. There we go. Now, if we grab onto this and stay on it, we should go right over to that emerald. Yeah, went right through it. Alright, let's see if we can't find the next few. I think that was actually supposed to be the last emerald you find, but it's probably the easiest one this level. At least for my particular playthrough, it'll probably be different if you guys are playing along. Let's see. Yeah, the gliding gets really awkward in this stage due to the ship's tilt. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but we've got to deal with it. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Excuse me. Let's see now. Maybe up this way. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. Some beeping coming from here. Oh, I can see it. Okay, don't want to get hit by all that trash. Now to explain. The ship's tilt actually would make it so it's impossible to get to these if it were tilting the exact opposite direction, because the trash only falls out if you're tilting... Like, if gravity is facing downwards, so... How to put it? Those trash chutes. If they are tilted so that the trash can roll out, then the doors will open. If they are not, the doors will remain closed, and we would not have been able to get that emerald if they had remained closed. So let's see what's up here again. I'm gonna try reversing the ship's tilt again. See if that'll help us at all. Let's see. Come on. Come on, push. There we go. So now let's we swap the ship's tilt again. Let's try moving around a bit more. Oh, got a speed booster here. Well, we can use that to get around a bit easier at least. Oh, seems there's something this way. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to crawl our way up this ramp because it's a bit too tilted for us to climb on or or for us to run on. In fact, it looks like it's completely sideways. Okay, closer this way? No. Hmm. We're staying right at the edge of it, but not getting very, never getting close. Okay, this way. Okay, maybe up on top of here. We're getting close. Oh, I bet it's inside that enemy. Yep. There we go. That's all three aboard the egg carrier. Those are the last of the emerald shards. As you saw, we had almost completed emerald. These three large shards should be plenty. Well, that wasn't too difficult. And with that, we're actually very close to finishing the story of Knuckles. The last missing piece. All right. Now to restore the master emerald. Not again. What is the meaning of this? Looks like we've been sent back yet again. This looks familiar from Sonic's story. There's a fiery glow in the distance, and it looks like the temple is mostly in ruins. It would appear that Takal was not able to stop her father. Let's go see what's going on. Hey, what happened here? I couldn't stop them. They came, and, and my father... I had no idea how bad this would turn out. I'm shocked. Look, it's the emerald. Wait. Is this a dream? It's more like a nightmare. So it appeared that's one of the ways things went very wrong, and at least we know how the temple where the emeralds kept was destroyed. 
We also heard the roar of a beast shortly before the call ran there. We'll have to find out what happened there, hopefully some other time. But for now, we've got all the pieces of the Master Emerald. We better get back to it and try to restore it. That's what our duty is, after all. I finally found all of the missing Emerald pieces, but... I still can't figure out that creepy monster. Huh? What's that? Hmm. Looks like there's something going on on the other side of the ship. We better better go check it out. Looks like Eggman's there. That bright light looked all too familiar. Oh, and Sonic's here too. from restoring the Master Emerald. So yes, we have the fight here against Chaos 6. This time it's Knuckles. It seemed that we were wrong. We thought that Sonic had managed, had successfully managed to destroy Chaos 6. And we have these ice things around here again, so we could fight him similarly, only without Eggman launching him this time. Whoa! Except for that part. A part of the ship is actually destroyed. Um, so yeah, it looks like... Sonic actually failed to destroy Chaos 6, and he's still here. So we better finish the job. Now let's see if we can't freeze that. Okay, oh! Okay, he just destroyed it. Okay, he's gonna keep jumping, and it's gonna keep doing damage. Ah, it wouldn't let me jump, I was spamming the A button. Now you see, these spots of the ship here, don't fall into them. They will damage you, and it, you will not get those rings back. Now let's see if we can't pick one of these up. And he's coming closer. Alright, he's gonna pull it in. There we go! Alright, he's all frozen up. Alright, let's see if we can't grab this piece here and keep him from destroying it. Alright, let's actually... Oh, shoot. That's bad. That is very bad, in fact. Alright, let's try... Okay, we can rush over here and get one ring. There's very few rings in this fight, so you don't want to be wasteful. Luckily, we can glide. This fight, if it had been like this for Sonic, it would have been very difficult. Also, every time he jumps like that, it'll clear all the bombs off the field, so be very careful. Man, I love this music. It's too awesome. See if we can't throw it in. Oh, that was almost too close. All right, there we go. Got him hit one more time. He's almost down. All right, let's try to keep a hold of this. Now, you know, I'm gonna try to keep him alive so we can show that attack I was trying to tell you guys about last time. That's really strong. He's jumping. He's landing in the middle, and he didn't create a shockwave this time. Yep, here it is. I don't believe these spikes getting shot out can actually damage you. They're just here to hinder your progress so he can hit you with his tail. Luckily, I was in a sweet spot where he could actually hinder your progress very little. But yeah, that's one of his special attacks he has in this form. Now let's just keep running around and see if we can toss that in. Okay, I failed. Okay, oh shoot. He's gonna destroy that one too. Oh, I can't get at that one. Or that one. Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright, managed to destroy one. There we go. And we've got him. We've destroyed Chaos 6, finished what Sonic couldn't. Is that all you've got? It's a good thing, too. He managed to get six of the seven emeralds. If he'd gotten all seven, who knows how bad it could have been. Yeah, you're finished. What's left now is to return the Master Emerald safely to my island.
should do it. Perfect. All is well now. The Master Emerald and the island have been restored. I'll probably be on this floating island forever. Guarding the Master Emerald again. I may not know the whole story behind this, but perhaps it's better that way. I'm at peace once more. So with that, we have completed the story of Knuckles. <sighs> well, Knuckles' story is one of the shorter ones in this game. It's not quite the shortest. However, it's actually one of my favorites. Mostly because it shows... It, how to put it, it... The points when it goes back in time. It really makes it much more clear that this is back in time. I mean, I figured out earlier than this when I was a kid, but I know people who had not figured it out by this point. Also, this song is awesome. Then again, that's not even new. Sonic games are famous for having amazing soundtracks. In fact, soundtracks is usually better than the game itself, oftentimes. Still, I love the fact that this game goes back in time so much more than the other stories. It makes it so much more interesting with that. And we finally get to learn a bit more about what happened in the Mystic Ruins. Why Knuckles is on that island. Specifically, we know the name of it now, Angel Island. Why he was there? Well, we don't really know why he was there. We do know, though, that it has something to do with, well, what happened with Takal. We could see that the Master Emerald was still standing after, even after her father attacked that place. And you could hear that whatever that beast was in the background. We don't know what quite happened to Takal. But, we just know that the Emerald is still there to this day, and Knuckles has to defend it. I find it very interesting. Hopefully in the other characters' stories, we'll learn a bit more. And I'm looking forward to that. <sighs> Man, I really do love this game, guys. I know there's a lot to complain about, like, the voices are very bland many times, except for Eggman's. Eggman's is awesome. And I can say Tikal's isn't bad either. I mean, it's it's not great, but I enjoy hearing Tikal's. But most of the other characters, unfortunately, they're very, very lifeless. But it's a small trade-off for such a great game. If you think about it, how to put it, uh, if you couldn't hear the voices, it wouldn't seem as bad. I mean, it just seemed like not-so-good animated mouths, but if you could just read the subtitles and play the cutscenes muted, it would seem pretty interesting. Although, the lines they chose to translate and how they chose to translate them, not the best, but it feels like I'm complaining too much. Oh! I forgot to show that off. That right there chose Knuckles with golden gloves. That was something I could have shown off and I completely forgot about it. In fact, I'll show it on screen at the end of this video after the little area where it would normally say where you can choose the next video or not. I'll show you where you can get those items. They're just some gloves for Knuckles. They're honestly, I'd say, the most pointless item in this game. What they essentially do is they make it so that you can hold B to do a lock-on attack, similar to Sonic's uh, light speed attack. You saw how, ma how often I use that light speed attack. I used it, what, maybe once? Twice, maybe? I never use Knuckles as this equivalent to the light speed attack. It's honestly really useless. So, I'll show you where you can get those if you want to. I honestly prefer how Knuckles looks without the golden gloves, so I'm kind of glad I did not get them. 
so... That's... Whether I like how they look or not is beside the point. I still need to show where they're found. I'm trying to show at least where all the items are in this game. There aren't a lot of items, though. There's one character coming up who I'm actually a bit worried if I'll be able to show all of the items. Because I don't remember where they are off, my, off the top of my head. And again, I actually do have the official strategy guide to this game lying around here somewhere. In fact, I think it's on the wall, so, well not on the wall, but on the shelf somewhere behind me. So I shouldn't have any trouble. Man. Still, like I said, I do love this song. I love every song. Every character has a great theme in this game, I feel like. I mean, some of them are better than others. Like, I feel like Sonks and Tails are some of the best. And again, we can see the original model there with Knuckles. Ah, that was Knuckles' story, guys. Hope you enjoyed. That'll be it for this episode. And I'll be seeing you guys next time when we move on to the next story, which will be Amy's. So, this has been Wentis. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time when we move on to Amy's story. See you then. Now you've got fighting gloves. To store up power, hold down the action button. Now you can do the maximum heat knuckles attack.